Talkin' Country. You're listening to Talkin' Country with Paul Taylor. Hi, welcome to my channel, Talking Country, where we'll be chatting to the stars of country music from around the world, whether it's in Nashville, Australia, UK, Ireland. You'll get it here first. If you like us, subscribe and give us the big thumbs up. Hopefully you enjoy it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again back to the Buckland Boots backstage, and we have the one and only Alan Finlan. How you doing, How's it going? Good. Yeah, good. Looking forward to your gig a little, little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the pre gig jitters, and then uh, after that, and like three whiskeys, I'll be all right. I just saw Gary Quinn and all the all the uh, Kezia Gill and all that, and somebody was um, giving him the uh, is it Jaeger bombers while they're on stage. Oh God, Jaeger! I did t- I did a couple of them last night. That's why I'm feeling a little bit rough. Uh, well, he camps out with everybody, you know. He, do, he slums it with the rest of us. Oh yeah, I don't want to say the rest of you. I'm still the same person. <laughs> Possibly mere mortals. <laughs> I am a mere mortal as well. Well, how did it all start for you? When did the singing start? Singing started when I was working behind a bar and someone heard me singing and they said, you should go and do an open mic. And I started doing open mics in about 2015 and haven't looked back since. Wow. It's such a great career and I see you've, you've been up for awards and all sorts of stuff, haven't you? Yep, so nominated for Horizon Act, which I can't attain anymore because I'm no longer a Horizon. So I'm going to have to really work my butt off. You're an old guy now. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm an old I feel like lockdown's aged all of us. I've been having conversations with everyone around here and it's literally been like, do you feel ill? Yeah, I feel ill, yeah. My legs ache, my back aches. I have to have a Rennie before bed. <laughs> and he had, the, he had the gall to call me Nana before, my nickname. Yeah, you are Nana. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm, I am 60 though, you know what I mean? Well, <laughs> But, um, I feel 60. <laughs> Most people do if they've been, I mean, it's my first day, but they've been here since Friday or Thursday in, in some cases. And I was just speaking to Emma Jane and she's going, I, I just won't go home, oh, my legs are killing me, you know. But, <laughs> that is it. Like yeah. Everyone has just felt the age like, creep up on them from lockdown. And it's like, bed. <laughs> are you getting Emma up, aren't you, a little bit later? Am I not supposed to say that? This isn't going out till tomorrow. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Letting Emma get up on stage. It's, it, it, it's, well, it's going to be midweek when this gets out. So. Oh, that's fine. That's yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, but no, um, I mean, Battle of the Bands is just a phenomenal song. We've been playing it a lot, Wayne yeah. and I, on the on the radio and stuff like that. So. Have you got any new music coming up? Um, yes, so I've been experimenting with my co-writer Stephen Manley on doing an Americana bluegrass swamp album. I call album, but it's probably going to be three tracks. <laughs> But we've been in the works with it. Um, we've also got a few more coming along the lines. We're also working with Jen Atkin, who released the single One Boyfriendable. And we are going to be doing another duet sometime soon, maybe. Yeah. And I'm going to do the little plug for her. She is the current Miss Great Britain. She is. I've just seen her. <laughs> yeah. So she's uh, she's constantly asking me to marry her. So. And you, you said no. Well, I'm saying until I'm financially stable and I'm a superstar. <laughs> Which won't be long. No. So it's, it's an attainable goal. <laughs> well, I think when, when, when she got together with Emma Jade then for a photo shoot, I went, how much white teeth is there in the world? <laughs> you know, what's going on? <laughs> oh, but Emma, Emma's in the top ten, isn't she, I think, for the... Uh, I think so. Yeah. 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 But I said to her, what's her speciality? You know, when you have to do, like... The speciality is it going to be country and you're going to go on your with your boots on and stuff yeah. like that you know no. i don't know my my uh my quality might be i can neck a bottle of whiskey <laughs> i've heard not in one go but you get me and wayne together it's uh it's Gentleman a Jack. mess it was a mess the last fsa was i had to, i out drank he won't admit this i out drank him and i put him to bed you got that i'm going to give him so much stick next week because he said he's the I'm best gonna, of the best i'm giving him stick now I know that he's got his hillbilly hoe down, I but know. he should be here. He, he should be here. Where's my breakfast? Where's my pe- He's not getting fed to see without Wayne, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People buy my shirts. I need food. <laughs> not that I'm big enough anyway. <laughs> I know Emma just said that. She said, "Any, you know, you want to buy any merch? Please do, because I'm hungry." Yeah, I'm also um, telling the pho- photography. Anytime you got me, just Photoshop me until I look attractive. <laughs> 
I haven't got the software for that, unfortunately. Give, give me, a, give me, a, give me a six pack that isn't a plastic ring a can. Yeah. Yeah, I said my my body's like a temple, the Taj Mahal. I said yeah. I've got the body of a god. It's Buddha. <laughs> So uh, when's the next gig after this? Next gig, I don't know when, very soon. I think I've got a couple of local festivals that I'm doing, so it'll be um, charitable organisations okay. doing it. And I said I'd come and do it. It's at my, it's at my um, workplace, so I work at a beachside bar. Oh, wow. So uh, I, they said to me, oh, do you want to do a set? And I was like, oh, of course I do. Tried to get the band involved, but where they live so far apart, it's hard to get them together again. So I'm doing it all solo. I got my loop stuff. I'm basically the Wish.com Ed Sheeran. <laughs> so I, no I normally do the loop stations, vocal harmony, all of that little percussion thing where you do with your guitar. That not to the great levels of some people, but I can do a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like me. I could do a little bit, you know. But um, but no, it's um, it's a phenomenal steady. I say phenomenal, but it's a steady rise in your career, though, isn't it? And again, yeah. lockdown's been hard on everybody. Yes. But but it's also given people some creative juices as well. Yeah, I think I went in the opposite direction though. I ended up having a bigger, big brain melt at the beginning of this year and uh, I'm not afraid to admit it, you know, just saying that I was really unhappy with myself. But my change in career, change in physical and mental well-being, it's just been a little bit of a godsend to focus on my music and to finally get myself back in the songwriting game. I'll be honest, I was, I was so fortunate to do the radio stuff that kept me a little bit more focused. Yeah. You know, but yeah, I, I, I can understand how people go from one extreme to another because you're out gigging, you're out writing and suddenly stop. Yeah. And it is an adrenaline junkie sometimes, isn't it? Oh yeah. I mean, it was the time I went out to Nashville and uh, I'm going to do a little shout out to Luke Allison who is in the crowd somewhere right now. He um, was with me out in Nashville. Everyone take a drink, that's the tradition. If yeah, you yeah. mention Nashville, you drink. Uh, we were at Honky Tonk Central and he paid the band that was playing there, I can't remember their names, but they, he paid them to get me up there and sing a bit of Luke Combs and I went full on Eminem 8 Mile. Wow. <laughs> and he literally just like everyone was bouncing and I was, it was just amazing that the wow. feeling. He came off stage with me and he went, that, I didn't do anything and I felt alive and electric and it was like, is that how, how it happens? And I was like, yeah, I, anytime I get behind a microphone, all the feelings just wash away and you end up in a zone. And I think the most most musicians they will just say, yeah, we're in a happy place when we're behind our yeah. instrument, behind the microphone, and we've got people smiling back at us. That's that's the beauty of music. I find the day, or maybe the two days after doing a gig, especially if it was a good one, the time when you go low. I'm going to get low after this. I, I will have a couple of days where I'm like, oh, it's back to done. normal. Yeah, but at least, at least obviously Boris, Boris gave us the go ahead to, to, to do this. Or as my mum calls him, Boris Karloff. She's not a fan, but there you go. I'm keeping my opinions out yes. of politics. You've I, got I'm, to do. Yeah, if you start doing that, then everyone gets angry at you for no reason. Exactly. So I'm going to keep everything out of it. And well, my mum's a Catholic, and I've said to her, you really need to go to confession when it's safe to do so, <laughs> because the swear words coming out of your mouth is <laughs> it's not suitable for an 84-year-old lady. That's so-and-so. I hate to, you know, well, get his hair cut. Where's she from? St. Helens, where I am. She might get a pass. <laughs> Well, we, we, the speakers see fine, she says. <laughs> Even when Covid started, she's shopping for us. I went, Mum, you're not supposed to go out. I've been in the war. I've been in the war, I don't care. Yeah, that's what a lot of people had, that, that mindset. And then uh, everything started getting serious. Yeah. I, think, I don't even know if I had it, but I felt like I had it. I think a lot of people, including myself, and there was no test then, but right at the beginning, I felt really, really ill. Yeah, because I, I went to London. <laughs> Yeah. So I went to London for the C2C that never happened and then came back in a week later lockdown and then I well, was really... just congregating in the bar. Yeah. I mean, I didn't go last year, but I normally go, you know, and it, it's... Um, yeah, I thought to all these people in the bar, I went, ooh, right, okay. You know, because I went to Paris uh, just before the lockdown and I didn't know it was getting serious until yeah. I went on the plane coming back, went... And then about two weeks later, I felt rough, so... It's, it's yeah, there. I just ended up being an introverted 16-year-old again. I just sat on PlayStation with my friends and... Sounds like play games, but uh, but no. Good luck on your set coming up. Good luck for the future. Hopefully, uh, see you in September for a beer or two. Maybe or if I get a few root beers. Yeah. <laughs> it was either that or you're going to get a plague of northerners on your hometown. So it'll improve the place. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love my hometown. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have made an EP about it. <laughs> no, that's true. But um, look forward to listening to some of the new music as well you've got coming out. And it's been a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, you too. All the best to you in this very field I introduced a young man who then had his breakout because he rocked it.
the world then the world then stopped but he didn't he's gonna do it again for us tonight you're gonna raise the roof ladies and gentlemen alan finland I love all you. Well, I've been working all week with no end to my day. I got too much to do and no time for a break. I'm wearing out the ground with every step that I take with only two days of drinking. I got no money to stop.
I can't win without the other battle of the bands. You say that I'm too loud. There's a rhythm you can't keep And as we grow into ourselves We fight each other's lead It's like a battle of the bed Both playing songs Only one of us can stand it's a deal no one wants to live well, I can't win without the other The battle of the band We untangle crosswise I turn down the amplifiers Find a key that locks us in Make the record start to spin Set the tempo to our stride Across the way be sanctified Find a melody that keeps us true And sometimes when I'm with you It's like bad Songs only one of us can stand. It's a deal no one wants to land. And I can't win without you now. We can't win without the other battle of.